Let's look at the solution to this one. So in this problem, let's read the problem statement first. It says a golf ball is struck with a velocity of 80 feet per second as shown. And we wanna find the speed at which it strikes the ground at B. So we want B, B. And we want the time of flight from A to B. So let's just put T because we want that time. Now, if we look over here, notice we've got a, a few things listed. First of all, we have that initial velocity, right? That's that 80 feet per second it mentioned over here. And we have two angles, right? So I gave this as a quiz and a lot of people were uh, a little confused as to what to do with the angles here. So the 45 degree angle is the angle with the ground. Okay, but now if you look at the 10 degree angle, the 10 degree angle is basically the incline of the ground. All right, so if you're gonna use the X axis, then the angle we would need for the velocity would be 55 degrees. Okay, so that's how I solved it. There's another way you could do it. Um, you could use the 45 degree angle, but the problem with the 45 degrees, if we're like this, let's write this out, is that we've got gravity, right? Now gravity goes straight down. So if you use the 45 degrees, you have to change this into x and y components for your acceleration. So then your ax would no longer be um, zero and your ay would not be just 32.2. Okay, so that's the detail that uh, most people missed if they use the 45 degrees and then their answers were off. Okay, so I'm gonna do it this way. Um, if you want, you can work through it and do it that way, but you will need to resolve um, G into X and Y components. Okay, so let's let's stick with this way right here. All right, now I always like to write down my information first before I get started with the equations. So let's start at point A here. My velocity in the X direction at point A is gonna be 80 cosine 55. And that is 45.89 feet per second. And then at y, or the y direction, that velocity component at a is gonna be 80 sine 45. Or not 45, 55, sorry. All right, so here you get 65.53, and that's feet per second. Now, let's assume this is our reference point. Okay, so xa is gonna be zero y a will be zero my final point is over here right now remember i'm measuring from you know that point on the x-axis we're using this regular frame here so that means my um, x b over here is going to be this distance d cosine 10. all right so we've got that um, so if we draw it out, basically think of this as being D and then we got that 10 degree angle. Okay, so we got D cosine 10 and then for Y, it's gonna be this opposite side, right? So we're gonna have D sine 10. Right? And obviously these are both positive because we're going up and then to the right. Now what about acceleration? Well, if I use this frame here, you know, the standard X, Y frame, AX is gonna be zero because the only thing we have for acceleration is gravity, right? Gravity acts straight down, right? And we got that 32.2. So AY then will be negative 32.2 because it's going down. And that's feet per second squared. Now we've got all of our, you know, preliminary information here. Let's go ahead and start looking at equations. So in the x direction, the only equation that really makes sense is going to be xb equals xa plus vaxt plus one-half axt squared, All right? Because the other two equations just basically tell you vax is equal to um, vbx, so it doesn't give you much. So this is going to be zero here. xa is zero, right? So we know that from there. And let's plug in our information. XB is D cosine 10. 
VAX is 45.89 times T. And let's solve this for D. So it's 46.6 T. Let's call it equation one. And now let's go to the y direction because this is all we can get from the x direction. So let's look at the y direction. We're gonna do this similar equation. So yb equals ya plus vayt plus one half ayt squared. And let's plug everything in. So yb is gonna be d sine 10. Ya is zero, so let's just write that out. VAY is 65.53 times T. And then we got plus one half AY, which is negative 32.2 times T squared. Okay, so let's call this equation two, I guess. Now, notice I've got these two equations. I've got two unknowns. D and T are both the unknowns um, in these equations. So I'm gonna take equation one and plug it in right here, Oops, equation one there. So if I do that, I get 46.6 T sine 10, and then equals this right-hand side. This last term goes to negative 16.1 T squared. Notice now I've got one unknown, which is T. All right, so let's simplify this. So we get 57.44t, and that's going to equal, uh, actually this is negative, that's going to equal negative 16.1t squared. So basically I took this, moved it over, combined them. We end up with this negative, this is negative, so this switches to positive, and this t cancels one of these. So now you can solve for t, and you get 3.57 seconds. Okay, so that's one of your answers. Next we need VB. So we need the velocity of B. Remember, just because it hits the ground does not mean it's zero. A lot of people put that. Um, it's not zero when it initially hits. All right, so we got VBX. And if, you know, you look at your equation, we could have VAX plus AXT. This is zero though, right? So VBX equals VAX, which is 45.89 feet per second from right there. Now we need VBY, gotta have both components. So this equation will be VBY equals VAY plus AYT. And then we just plug in the values for the right side. VAY is 65.53 plus AY, negative 32.2, times T, T is the 3.57. Okay, so VBY then is gonna be negative 49.42 feet per second. All right, and that direction makes sense, right? Because it's coming down that way, okay? So that would have a positive X component and a negative Y, which is what we've got here. And then we need the magnitude, basically. So VB would be square root of VBX squared plus VBY squared. Oops. And then take the square root, we get um, 67.44 feet per second. Okay. So that's how you solve that one. This one's not too bad. You just had to realize what to do with this angle. If you use the 45 degrees and you didn't um, break G into the components, your answers are not gonna be correct.